Yo, what's up, Dreamy Gang? It's your boy, J100, and I'm back with another video. Today's a sad video. Maxwell Anderson convicted and charged with the murder of who was missing. But anyway, for new to our channel, please subscribe. Smash that like button and leave a comment below. That being said, let's get more than a week video. now. Yo. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jessica Bryce Beck. And I'm Amanda Porterfield. This morning, Maxwell Anderson was charged with murdering and dismembering 19-year-old Sade Robinson. The charges link two stories we've been covering for more than a week. The missing woman, Robinson, and body parts discovered in several locations throughout the city and county. Prosecutors now say at least two of those body parts are Sade Robinson's, and officers are looking for more of them. We have team coverage for you tonight of this breaking news. CBS 58's Taj Mahal and Bryant McRae will have details on the investigation, but we start with Adam Reif live from Anderson's South Side home, breaking down the new information tonight. Adam. And this home is where prosecutors say Maxwell Anderson killed Sade Robinson after the two went on a date last Monday. A few blocks away is where Anderson was taken into custody a few days later. In moments, you will see new video of that arrest in progress. Now, this case is bringing into light the story that has simmered in the shadows for days. While a concerned family was looking for a missing woman, body parts were turning up all across the city of Milwaukee. And now... We have more information on why. Sick son of a bitch. Hurt my baby. Sheena Scarborough did not hold back. Sick son of a her hatred for Maxwell Anderson was evident from the moment her daughter's alleged killer walked into the courtroom. Prosecutors say Anderson and Sade Robinson went out to two restaurants and bars the night of April 1st, then returned to Anderson's home on South 39th Street. They say at some point that night, Anderson killed Robinson, dismembered her body, then drove her car around while he scattered the body parts in various places. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. Um, it was the highest level of violence imaginable. Anderson also did Sade's car and lit it on fire. He spoke just once during Friday's hearing. Do you understand the maximum potential penalties? Yes, Your Honor. Anderson's attorney first tried to get the homicide charge thrown out. And there's nothing in here that says that she died at Mr. Anderson's home. Sade's mother again lashed out. So I'd ask you to dismiss that count before we address Shut Anderson's attorney then alluded to Anderson being innocent. Had Mr. Anderson been involved in this, this horrible tragedy, we would expect one to flee. But bail was ultimately set at $5 million. Sade's family had been searching for her ever since her disappearance. Authorities used phone records, surveillance video, and home security video to close in on Anderson. He was arrested Thursday, April 4th. Friday brought some answers for the family, but also more questions. Do something like this to my beautiful baby. She hurt nobody. And little closure. Me and my family would never be okay. Imagine trying to bury your niece with nobody for the service. And prosecutors say there are still missing body parts as they continue to look for all the human remains from Sade Robinson. Maxwell Anderson will return to court one week from Monday. Live here in Milwaukee, Adam Rice, CBS 58 News. That's so sick. Who can do that to a person? Dismember a person. Anyway, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. Smash that like button. Leave a comment below. Leave a comment below. That being said, I'm your boy J100. Perfect.